And it's that time of year, well, it's pretty much all the time of year for sports, but winter sports are kicking off and parents are braving those icy Saturday morning sports. Do we really have to go? Well, here to chat about sideline parenting, researcher Vince Mahares and parenting advisor Nick Gaze. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Really Good morning. nice to have you both here. Great uh, this is something near and dear to my heart. First up, Vince, one of your current research topics is sideline behaviour. So where does this behaviour come from? Yes, it's, a, it's an important question to ask as we sort of get into this youth sports uh, experience this year. And uh, I think it's worth always stepping back and reflecting and asking ourselves a, a really important question, which is, why are we here in the first place and who is this for? Mm. Um, and it's funny because when you ask kids, why are you here? What's fun about sports? You know, you get the things that you would normally hear, like being with my friends and I want to play well. But you also hear things like water breaks and, you know... Uh, the oranges at <laughs> halftime. That's right. Oranges <laughs> at halftime, end of season team parties and, and being in the hotel. And so when you sort of step back and reflect on those things, we realize, hey, there's a whole lot more important things out here than just obviously the performance. Yeah. The in fact, I think one of my children's was the fish and chips at the end of the season. Right. That there was their go. best part about the whole yep. experience. Yes. And from the kids' point of view, how valuable is it to have mum and dad there shivering on the sideline? Yeah, it's incredibly value, valuable. I mean, I think for um, children to see their parents on the sideline, it, it communicates that they're worth it. And so children who basically have parents who are saying that to them end up knowing that actually they must be worth it if their parents come out and stand on the sideline and watch them play sport. In freezing cold with the yeah. wind and the rain coming yeah. in um, and the mud. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've been there and done that. Yeah. Uh, and not be on your phone. You've got to be engaged yeah. and actually watch mm -hmm. them because if they do something, mm -hmm. they look up, yeah. don't they? Mm -hmm. I have to say, I've got four children and the number of times that I have been on the sideline and I've looked away mm -hmm. and they've scored a goal or you know they've done something amazing and I've missed it, it's incredible. But I think that to be able to, because a lot of parents can't be there, so yeah. to be able to debrief the game afterwards, ask questions, how they feel the game went, how did they feel their performance went? Yeah. Just, yeah, just engaging in that way is also another way that they can... Now, but some parents add to the competitive pressure, don't they, uh, by yelling from the sidelines. What's the story there? Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, well, you know, this is a really interesting challenge for parents because, mm. you know, when kids make mistakes on the field, you feel, you know, that it's, it's maybe your role to step in and sort of add some element to that. Maybe you played the sport yourself. They feel it's and, an extension of themselves. Yeah, that's they? right. Uh, I think it's worth, again, thinking about how much better it is when the kids can figure it out themselves. Yeah. Um, and that when you're primarily there as an encouragement and a support, and when you do want to sort of add a commentary, let them ask you, um, mm. or, or sort of be very selective mm. about those times when you do, because you know, they're, they're not getting the benefit if they're being told what they need to be doing mm. all the time. The amount of times I've heard, particularly, and I'll say this, dads in rugby, I think are the worst mm. that I've come across in the multiple sports that my kids have played, yeah. are yelling at their children quite yeah. aggressively from yeah. the sidelines, yeah. uh, yeah. and the child gets distracted by what's going on because yeah. they're trying to listen to dad, yeah. because dad really wants them to be the next all player. Yeah, I mean, you've got that issue there of also conflicting messages between the parent and mm. the coach, and that just creates confusion for the for the child. So if if there if that issue comes up, yeah, have a conversation with the coach that you're on the same page mm. and you understand what he you know he or she is telling your child, and that way there's alignment. Let there. the coach mm. do the coaching. I think parents also need to just to echo what you're saying, Vince. They need to really think about why they're there and who they're there for. Yeah. And so for parents that are particularly competitive, just to be able to dial that back and know that actually I'm here to be my child's cheerleader mm. and this is about their journey in sport, not mine. Exactly, and they don't mm. have to win every time. Uh, do mm. you think it's embarrassing or is it a put off when the parents like maybe myself get really excited mm. and, yeah. and, and enthusiastic when yeah. they're on the sidelines? Yeah, I think with, with cheering it's about thinking about what we hit, we're there to cheerlead them, not to commentate the game. And so obviously celebrate when they do something really well. Give them a word of encouragement when they maybe do something that that, um, they, that they would feel disappointed in. Jumping up and so, down and going, that's my baby! I should maybe tile that yeah, one back just a yeah, tiny bit yeah. when, they're, when they're actually in their teens. Yeah. Everybody, everybody <laughs> wants support. Everybody wants to feel encouragement. But you also know when you've taken it too far. And I mm. think that that's worth you know having a conversation even with your child about you know what, what kind of support would you do you actually want from me? Yeah. Do you want mm. me to be cheering up and down? Mm, mm. versus, you know, just, just clapping, you know, f when things go well. Because yeah. mm. you also Ask want them. them to be a good sport mm. too, yeah. don't you? Yeah. I think asking your child as well. My, my teenagers, they completely let me know what's acceptable now yeah. on the sideline. But yeah. if you're not sure, just ask them and they'll, they'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, not fond of selfies after the game. I found yeah. that one as well. I've yeah. tried that. I've done them <laughs> yeah. all. Okay, so just quickly then from both of you, what would be your best tip on sideline etiquette? Vince, we'll start with you. Be there. 
just be there, uh, honestly. If you're just there and you're present and you're actively engaged, um, that speaks volumes. And put the phone away. Nick, That's what about right. you? I think be the adult. You're modelling behaviour, modelling sportsmanship, so keep it positive. Mm, keep yeah. it positive. That's yeah. sound advice. Thank you so much. Looking cool. forward to seeing more of that on the winter sidelines. <laughs>